Hello everyone, the virtual investor here, and today we have some rather bad, potentially very bad news here. Federal Reserve did what many thought they would do, raising the interest rates by a quarter of a point. I think this is now a total of 5% increase over the past year or so, roughly. I think since March of 2022, so a little over a year, 14 months, and it's the most they've ever done in history. And unfortunately, this is, you know, the, the Federal Reserve is creating a fire. They're an arsonist in this situation here. And then they're going to try to pretend like they are the firefighter coming to the rescue later. And I'll get into that in a little bit here. But let's talk about what raising the interest rates by a quarter of a point does. And let's just change this a little bit here. Federal Reserve, again, probably just crashed the markets and it's going to affect real estate and real estate actually got a nice little boost let's screen share here for a minute and um i'm going to talk about the boost all right so today today's mortgage rates dropped by about half a percent they plummeted here which is great news in real estate. If you're looking to refinance, if you're looking to purchase, whatever, drop down to 6.125 from 6.625. So half a percent in one day. We've had this before with, with the increases in a short-term rate by the Federal Reserve is pushing people into the 30, 20, 10-year T-bonds. And the 10-year T-bond is what's based off the uh, mortgage rate. So that helped with people purchasing the T-bonds. That helps the uh, mortgage rates here temporarily. So that's a positive for real estate if you're buying or if you're looking to refinance. That's good. But what the Federal Reserve has done is probably um, totally caused a banking crisis. And if you look at Zero Hedge right here, the banking collapse of 2023 is now officially bigger in 2008. <clears throat> so we had, I think it was a total of 25 banks collapse in 2008. And in 2000, and that total was 373.6 billion. Of course, we've had so much liquidity pumped into the system. The dollar amounts make it bigger. So far, we have three, only three banks that have failed so far this year. Only three, right? For, but the combined assets are total of 548.5 billion. That's a lot of money. A lot of money and what's going on is these smaller regional banks and they're being bought by pennies on the dollar by companies like jp morgan so they get them for pennies on the dollar the fdic bails them out that's right the government and their cronies this is called crony capitalism right here it's finest bails out the, these banks and jp morgan gets great asset and increases their net worth makes everything look better for them on paper and they get another asset and they just continue to grow and this is going to happen more and more. You're going to see all these regional banks get buried, um, like Silicon Valley Bank, like First Republic Bank. And there's going to be many more, many more. There's a lot of banks in danger right now. These regional ones are going to get gobbled up. But this is going to throw us into a pretty good economic um, recession, at least for the short term here, which I think is going to grow and potentially over the next few years could throw us into a depression. God forbid. Um, it's not looking good, but what they've done is raise the rates, create demand destruction. Yes, they have created demand destruction in many markets because the stock market's been flat over the past year. So you're not having new money pumped in that. Crypto market is going belly up over the past year, although it's gaining traction. Cryptos will get a benefit from this. Bitcoin will get a benefit from this. Might be short term, and then there will be you know a short term bump, maybe up to 30k, 32k again here, and then what you'll have is another artificial crisis come here, and that'll crash the crypto market again. It'd be a great opportunity to buy, and I'll be looking to buy at that point there. But what we may have is short term boost because people are going to be putting their money into other assets. Good news for savers, you can now. I wouldn't put your money in the bank, but you could put your money in the CDs, some of these assets here and earn four plus percent interest, maybe four or five percent interest. So you can actually earn something now if you're a saver. That's benefit there. Problem is inflation is eating it way more than what, you know, the government's six percent is a bunch of baloney. It's really closer to 12, 15 
percent maybe higher um, with what you pay because they don't count food or energy which is the biggest thing that went up so their numbers are totally phony baloney hocus pocus as far as i'm concerned so what you're getting here is bank collapses which are going to have effect on real estate here and now it's going to be a lagging effect on real estate real estate has a six month to nine month lag effect let's take a look here because there is another article about okay here we go some of the regional banks crashing this was yesterday and if you look at the market you, you look at some of these regional banks just getting killed right now which means there's bank runs going on so you're going to see more and more um banks fail it's going to rival 2010 when we had 25 banks would be surprised if we have more and wouldn't you know it the federal reserve is going to pretend they're here to help and save the day and uh, create the fed federal reserve coin the the fed now token which has been out it's in beta right now since april and in july it rolls out oh, perfect timing for when a collapse really starts to be felt they have the fed now token that they're going to be able to roll out here so what is going to happen should you get out of real estate the answer to that is no you should not now reason is a, a couple fold here money's going to go into hard assets hard assets meaning um real estate silver gold and other commodities that have value here and commodities, commodities will go up in price. But one of the things the Federal Reserve uh, that Jerome Powell did talk about was potentially, uh, he said that they wouldn't lower rates this year, but that may change. Whenever they say that, keep in mind that that may change, but they may go more hawkish and not raise rates again. I think he knows what he's done and the short economy. I think he knows this was the, uh, the last stone, I think, to be thrown to cause the problem here. It's a straw that broke the camel's back, I believe. Straw that broke the camel's back moment going on here. And I think we're gonna we're gonna see a real economic storm hit. Real estate may be fine. It may be good. So the one of the better things to be in as rates drop here may be real estate. Maybe you want to get in and start buying some rentals and start buying some properties that produce cash flow because that's what you want because if the economy goes bad yet yeah, rents will renters will be affected but homeowners will be affected and may have to sell their homes and then they need to rent so you might have some nice rent might get a nice little boost or stabilization here especially if uh the federal reserve and the u.s government do what i think they would do and um, create a universal basic income if the market got too bad if the economy got too bad the fed now would give people a certain amount that would help them pay rents maybe help them stabilize maybe a little more helicopter copter money like we got from covid but understand that would create more inflation at the same time too and you won't see it right away if they start doing that you'll see it six nine twelve months down the road just like we saw from covid with all the helicopter money starting to really take effect into 2021 and that that market was crazy in real estate in 2022 before interest rates shot up mortgage rates that is mortgage interest rates shot up in 2022 now that they're coming back down here hopefully things stabilize but there's going to be a drying up of liquidity too so how many how much of an appetite will investors have maybe investors have a lot of appetite for um mortgage debt because they're getting a hard asset with it so that's a question. That's where I think we may be headed. Um, we may be in a good situation as investors here. We may see prices stabilize, maybe even go up a little bit here with a rate drop. Um, but if the economy turns too much, that's going to be a, a negative long term. But uh, for 2023, I think real estate's good. 2024, it's a coin toss. It really depends on what's going on in the economy and how bad things have gotten and has unemployment changed a lot but what i think the federal reserve did right here is the straw that broke the camel's back and we're going to really feel it and we're going to be in for some tougher times especially in 2024 and probably hitting a peak in 2025 but we'll see where it goes still think real estate's a great place to be crypto's another great alternative all right guys catch you in the next episode